welcome to my vlog again. Just warming up right now because I'm having my first dinner recital in uni later. This two days is gonna be busy. I'm having my student recital the afternoon, and then at night we have a faculty recital, which means we can watch our lecturers perform. And for tomorrow, I have a few meetings in the morning, and then I'm going for a master class audition. I can't believe it's just done in like what four minutes. So fast. I'm looking forward to tomorrow's master class. Yay! Okay, goodbye. Okay, so you want to do What are you doing? I'm picking a tender. Oh, what is this event? Yay! Thank you. Bye bye. Thank you. Bye. bye. 
the boost for the <laughs> For influence from her. <laughs>
I told myself, oh yeah, this is cannot really work. Or like, I will have like a guiltiness, like the imposter syndrome. I tell myself I'm not good enough. Why did I have this like opportunity? I really hate to be in that state, to feel that way. So when I was like watching the recital halfway, then I kind of wrote this down on my journal. You take control of your own life. Stop victimizing yourself. You know what you can do, so break through your limits. Don't let your doubts hold you back. Appreciate the opportunity that you are given. Ignore the imposter syndrome. You deserve this. You have worked hard for this. You knew from the start that this would happen, so just enjoy. Enjoy like how you always do. There are hundreds of listeners to judge you, so why judge yourself? Never judge the good and never judge the bad while you're playing. Fill yourself with your music and don't let any thoughts distract you. You're powerful enough to keep your mind in your music. You will and you can. Then I was like, mm, listen to yourself, be kind, advise yourself like how you would to others. Cause I kind of realized I was a bit harsh on myself. So like I always advise my students before competitions or like performance. So I just said like, be your own student, overcome this stage by yourself. You decide what you create lah. Present what you've always been so deeply passionate about with a piece that you love so dearly that gave you so much confidence and inspiration. Because mm. like this piece, I kind of, I actually learned it. It's so Yeah, I learned it. I kind of practiced this on the side because I was so in love with this piece by WC. I just got a few coaches from my major lecturer. Lastly, I said to trust yourself and trust your music, feel the connection, and that's the only connection you need. This one Good did fun. encourage me in the number. I'm like doubtful again. Then I kind of just read it back again. I'm happy that I actually addressed my emotions at that point because mm. I run away from the emotions a lot throughout the whole week. I was like, oh, okay, masterclass is like a chill. Mm. But I know for a fact that. I really tie you to the dong si. And it's like a breakthrough for me to break through from the past experiences that I had. So I wanted to make sure that this was good enough, that I'm good enough. I know it's not such a big of a deal, lah, but I also don't want to like downplay my own emotions. So I did a good job at overcoming 